This is William, and in just a couple of minutes, I am going to do my first ever pit orchestra assignment. And I get scooby doo da a doo doo da a doo doo da da that excited. So, this is the production. Uh, Rogers and Hammerstein, Cinderella. Okay, there's the accompanist. And down there is our beautiful little pit. And there's our orchestra conductor. Professor Paul Kim. Say hi, Professor Kim. <laughs> Go behind this way. You got the perfect shot of everybody. I think that's where I'm sitting. Yeah, I think this is where I'm supposed to be. Here's my horn buddy. Yeah, I sat next to him uh, when we were just with the choir in the choir room and not in the pit. I don't know if you can hear me. Yeah, it's kind of loud. So we got through the act one, and it, it, I'll admit it, it's pretty irresponsible to do a vlog while you're in the middle of rehearsal, but now with intermission I can give you a, a full detailed tour, I guess. Here's, here's the conductor stand up close. And here's this side of the store. That's <laughs> fine. I hope this is how the intermission title card is gonna look. I hope so, please. Here's lighting controls, additional sound controls. And I'll take you for a different part of the backstage. In this store are the dressing rooms. You ready to go in? Check it out. So there are the cast members. Hey. Things I have to keep in touch with. Okay. Okay. Okay, thanks. Alright. Hmm. We got an extra mic here. I assume this is uh, TV controls. Um, And that's the main office of the theater behind that guy. Hello. Hey. Excuse me. I saw that was amazing. Good job, everyone, so far. All right. That. No, I did not. Oh, I was not. And I didn't show you the dressing rooms. Here's dressing number room number two. Uh, and room number one. That's the one that I like to use when we're using when we're using the dressing room for concerts that are for the wind ensemble and the orchestra themselves. You know, a lot of you don't get to see this part, but this is uh, extra cable storage and uh, extra storage in general, and uh, you might see a couple of props here and there like like this old radio I don't know if it still works but basically it's all just my cables and and other cables of some sort like XLR TRS TS like balanced and unbalanced oh I'll, I'll talk about cables in a later video if you guys want want me to do so and and there's some extra lights and Mike, so. 
I wonder what this thing is. I mean, this thing. If you guys know what this thing is, uh, let me know. Uh, you guys notice this camera right here? Uh, the orchestra conductor uses this baby to uh, get in touch with pit orchestra members that can't fit in this pit right here. And you see there's a drum set, but, but they can't fit any other percussion. And over to the left right here, uh, they can't fit a harp. Those people, they're actually on a different part of the stage, which I forgot to show you, uh, uh, and I'll show you right now. We'll make our way back here, past the, past, past the dressing rooms one and two. Hey, you did so good. Oh, thanks. This is my first time here. Really? Yeah, yeah. Welcome. <laughs> and it's something I really feel like I need to do in order to achieve my career. All right, so, all right, so we got the backdrop ropes and everything. This is the additional musician's corner. And our percussionist Matthew has his own little screen to see our conductor, Professor Kim, uh, try to get in, try to get through to the additional musicians I can't fit in the pit. Oh, also a harp is here and and this is where the chorus will sing off stage as well. And that's another addition to the backstage, but we won't go in there right now. <laughs> it's day two in the pit, and a new mic has been installed in the pit. And this microphone is used by the orchestra conductor to communicate with our percussionist and all the other orchestra members that cannot fit in the pit. It's day three, and and something interesting is Paul Kim is not the con the orchestra conductor of the production. It is Alex Payne. Adjacent to the piano is where the harp is. Let's look at the setup now. Pretty gorgeous so far. I forget which scene this is. <laughs> it looks great from back here. It's before day four in the pit starts, and I'm already liking the dinner that my mom's church has prepared for me. It's already getting me pumped up and ready to go. Okay, we had a little bit of too much fun here, and and during Cinderella's transformation scene, a glitter got all over the violins here, and and we were. And we're just talking. We we do need a little bit of a mirror to see, mirror or TV screen to see what the what's going on on stage, right? And finally, the premiere event, the event we've been waiting for all this time. None of the musicians are here quite yet, except this guy, our drummer. How long do you, how long do you think until they're here? We'll call the time is 6.45, so whatever time it is now, you know, we'll get here. Eh, okay, so we're both way early. Alright, uh, we'll just stick around. And there's our pianist as a usual accompanist. She was destined to get here early. All right, I got on my attire, all black, like this, black shoes, and uh, yeah, that's typically the common uh, pit orchestra attire. Uh, we don't always get to set our instruments down, because uh, 
because you know we tend to use the dance studio and the dance studio is what the actors use for like like warm-ups and stuff again this is the dance studio yeah, the curtains right here you can see the what is also used as the instrument storage you know the old saying an apple a day keeps the doctor away <laughs> i'm sure everybody knows that i've been having an apple all of these dress rehearsals and performances this week and look at what i have left of this apple this apple is really huge it came from new york and my dad had a had a missionary trip over in some unknown town in new york i forgot the name and their apples are huge have you ever seen an apple even bigger than one foot this is just this is one foot in diameter yo in all seriousness going into these performances i was actually thinking that professor kim and mr payne were going to to switch roles as conductor of the pit but but it turns out that Professor Kim is gonna direct every one of them because and Mr. Payne is a little bit uncomfortable in the position right now. So we skipped a couple of days, free, we skipped three days, and we're back for Thursday. Actually, what is it like? What is it like? What do you see on the conductor stand? Okay, let me find out for a second. Okay. You see a decent amount. Okay, there's our drummer. There's our view of the audience. There's our comedy mist. So from this stand, I just figured out where all the smoke is coming from. That little machine over there, mid left of the stage where somebody has probably just has to climb a, a, a medium-sized ladder to get up there. Alright, two more days after this. One last quick of the stage props. There's Cinderella's pumpkin frame. That's the runway hall. And the one thing we haven't gone through before. Okay, there's the there's some more props. Hello. All right, we cross the hall to see how he's doing. Okay, he's doing fine. Good re rehearsing, good. All right, let's go back. Yeah. Oh, you saw the. Princess, Princess Frown. All right. I'm giving everybody a backstage tour, and and I thought I'd check in and see if you were all right. All right, thanks. All right, let's make our ba way back. Well, the show's about to start. I might as well make my way back to the pit. Gee, it's a rough crowd coming through to the intermission. Huh. I wonder where our special guests are. Hmm. I gotta be around here somewhere. Okay, I found our special guest. I had pizza before I came to the, the performance. Just to what is you, what is the word? Is it carbohydrate? Is it carbonate or or something? Let me know in the comments what the word is. Oh boy, second to last performance, and it's kind of ironic that me and my friend Andy are the first musicians here. Seems like a new thing every day. Eh. I'll get a little closer so you can see. See the speakers over there. All just the blurriness. There we go. See those speakers? Someone was playing some music over there just a couple of just a couple of seconds ago. 
Okay. Okay, there's all the cast hey, up can we get on quiet stage. In the house? Uh, sure, sure. Quiet in the house, please. And John Michelle, start singing. Yes. Yeah. It's weird now. The actor said something about a, a strike. Do you guys know what they're striking for? Striking? Uh, going, they're going on a strike or something? Oh. Did you? No, t tomorrow we're, tomorrow we're, striking, we're striking the set. The set. And he's taking it, tearing it all down. Yeah, breaking everything down. Oh, you're. Oh, I, I wouldn't have caught that. The oh. strike into set. It yeah, take, yeah. Taking everything down. Okay, got that. Uh, okay. I thought I thought they were really mad about something, but. Okay, just checking. I was taking one last, uh, one last peek at the backstage of the cast, and I'm wondering what this thing is. This little slug thing. Oh, please let me know down in the comments what you. I think it is. It is the green room mascot. But we already have green. a show mascot. That's Spike. What? All right. Final performance. One last quick view of the main lobby. Right there. There's there's a couple offices of the theater staff. And couple of storage doors and here's our beloved box office and, and our dressing room the dressing room where all the instruments and such are stored there's, and, and and there's the door to the backstage of our cast and are and the doors to get in that theater the one last thing i didn't get to show you is the it is right above these steps and that was the lighting room and and there's some and there's for the extra lights overhead that you can see and there's a couple of lighting props and there were a couple of lights downstairs but but, eh, not very glamorous, I have to admit, but a life of a lighter's work is the life of a lighter's work. I better get back down to the pit. Alright, we're at the intermission. To be honest, this, this final night feels like the premiere night, where there were a lot of, where there were a lot of toddlers who were interacting with the characters. There are a lot of toddlers and little kids here who are interacting with the characters. I'll just cut you to the accent music.